I'd like to think of an office visit as sort of a six-part process. First part, number one, is make a connection. Irene. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Same here. I'm sorry you're in pain. Why oh, is that you. first connection Appreciate with the eyes, with the handshake, Glock, with the empathetic look, like why is that so important? Yeah. I'm a firm believer oh, that the first 15 seconds of a patient interaction is the most critical because that patient is sizing you up. Good to see you. They're trying to decide whether they can trust you or not. And if you don't invest the first few seconds to be genuinely interested with somebody and make that human connection, you'll spend the rest of that appointment trying to make up for it. Did I hear you were a police officer? Yes. Thanks for your service. That's making sure the patient knows that you are thoroughly and totally present with them. You know, and I've been going through mm. this ever since. Then, Tell next step, symptoms. part two, is get the story and the symptoms. Tell me your symptoms. I want patients to give me their symptoms, not what somebody else told them or what a report told them. I want them to tell me in their own words what they're actually suffering from. Moving, laying Where? down, in, okay. my, in my back. Right in your right, back. Yeah, right, right, okay. right around L3, uh, L3 to 5. Just okay. point where you think it is. That's, that's, uh... This area in here. All right, okay. okay. Pain in your back. Yes. That's, that's number one. Right. Recently, in the last few months, I went to a Broadway show. I sat down at the Broadway show. And 15 minutes into the show, I broke out this sweat. My fingers started tingling. My hands started, feet started tingling. I got really dizzy, lightheaded. I had to leave the show. I had spasms in the middle of the night, really bad, couldn't move. It started going down my leg, my right leg. The pain has always been worse down my right side. Next, step three, what has been done so far? What caused okay. them to get the scan? Okay, back in December, I was having dinner and I, had, I got a sudden uh, blurriness and I felt like faint, so I went to the hospital. Uh, they did a CAT scan, and they, uh, they said that it was probably a possible TIA, okay. but they couldn't confirm it. Okay. They also did an MRI before I left the hospital, and it came back clean. So, so this is an MRI scan in December, you said? Yes. Okay. So I followed up with a cardiologist and a neurologist, and then the neurologist made me get an MRI and an MRA. Again? Of, yeah, of the brain and the neck. Okay. So that's when he discovered that I had a fourth vertical um, mass. Okay. Are you taking medications? Started on Advil. My husband got me Advil in the morning for the back, Advil for the back pain. I took that all weekend while I went away. It got worse. She started giving me some medication for the pain, I guess, okay. or whatever. This is what she gave me. I didn't take all of it, but I just thought you'd want to know. Okay, so naloxicam and, and some uh, muscle relaxant cyclobenzaprine. Right. Okay. So Do you take any medications for your neck or your back, like Motrin, Advil, Aleve, muscle relaxants, painkillers, anything? I take painkillers. Okay. Have you had any procedures, any imaging that we need to look at? So in the meantime, I went to the cardiologist, had a 10-day heart monitor. Okay. Perfect. Good. Had an echocardiogram. Perfect. I have another um, stress test scheduled for next month, a nuclear stress test. I had one two years ago. Came out fine. So, just going through my little checklist here and making sure everything's okay. I got you. Okay. Right. Or have you had therapy? I did six sessions, told him it was still hurting. It was actually hurting more. And when I was doing the therapy, sometimes at, so he said, stop what you're doing in the middle of my session. He turned me over and started poking. I started owing. And he says, oh, you're very inflamed. We got to stop immediately. You have to go back to the doctor. We need to do an MRI. Or have you had surgery before? We need to know exactly what's been done at this point. Have you had any surgery on your neck or your back? No. Any shots on your neck or your back? No. Like steroid had, injections? No, the only uh, shot therapy? I've had has been on my knee, okay. on, any, my, on my left knee. Any physical there. therapy on your back? No. All that, right, so you've, you've been, you, you have some diagnoses, but we re, you haven't had any treatments on your neck or your back. Yes. Next, part four, a thorough exam. Push into my hand, good. Push this way, uh, that way, good. And you feel me touching here and here, here and here, here and here, everything's yes. equal. Yes. So, um, you know, we're just checking all the nerves from the top down. And just relax your hands. You feel the vibration here? Yes. Feel the vibration here? Yes. 
Feel the vibration here. Yes. And here. Yep. Roughly the same on all of those. Yep. This is gonna uncover any structural abnormalities. This is gonna show you how the problem that the patient has come with is affecting their life. And that includes checking their ambulation, how they walk, what the balance of their gait is. Can you lean forward and touch your toes? Stop when you get pain, you don't have to go all the way. Does that feel better or worse when you do that? Okay, all right, come on back up. Nice and easy. Now, how about arching back? Does that bother you? Not really. Okay, how about if I tilt you this way? Yeah. That, okay, and this way? Not too bad. As well as the strength, sensation, reflexes, and all the nerves that go to the head. Okay, I'm gonna touch you with a pin here. I'm gonna start up on your face. Sharp. 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 Yeah. Next. Part five, I call it show and tell. That's where I take the imaging and I show it in simple terms to the patient and explain to them what I see on the imaging, whether it's a pinched nerve or whether it's a completely clear spinal canal or anything in between. You can see you got some degenerative disc disease here at L5S1 and L4L5. Mm -hmm. And there is some bulging into the spinal canal. This channel right here is your spinal canal right, right. here. So you've got some narrowing there at L5-S1 and L4-L5. It's not severe, okay? But it's moderate, it's moderate. And um, the good news is, is I think we're gonna be able to manage this without a surgical procedure, okay? So uh, you've got multiple levels of disc bulges here in your spinal canal. Um, Nothing severely pinching the spinal cord, but there is some narrowing there. Each, each one of those little bulges, like a... Exactly, so they should be smooth like this. You see that's smooth and that's smooth? Yep. Each of the vertebral bodies is like a box of bone stacked upon each other. What we're looking at is something that looks to me as non-cancerous, benign, slow growing, something that we need to watch. And we do want to get a complete study, which is called a contrasted study. So I want to give you a prescription for an MRI with contrast and, and see you back. And then part six, questions, concerns, and a verbal receipt. This is really important. If I've done my job well, there aren't going to be many questions because I've anticipated them. Yeah. Questions? You, any questions? No, no, because most of what, what we're just in conversation, you've answered a lot of what I need to know because I've been going through this now. What, uh, what, seven, eight months? Right, okay, good. But there can be, and sometimes people have specific concerns. So one of the things on your checklist is obviously, is this related to a fluid buildup on the brain or hydrocephalus? Okay. I mean, that's what I, I think why you're, what you're concerned about, right, good. All right, so let's, let's talk about it a little bit. So you've had two of these episodes, both of them sort of in a, kind of a, a, a group, like a lot of people, like a, like a crowd of people. Yes. And then lastly, I like to give them a little quiz. I want to get a verbal receipt from them as to how they understand what I explained to them. I want you to pay attention to things. Make sure you're not progressing in your symptoms. Make sure you're keeping up your distances and you're walking. And as long as your walking distance is stable, then keep doing the shots and keep doing the exercises. And also make sure that they're satisfied with their visit and they've gotten everything they wanted to. They've achieved their goals from this visit. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll follow up with each other in okay. a couple of days to make sure you're moving in the right direction. Okay. That sounds wonderful. Okay. Thank All right. you so much. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. That's it. Good. I'm here for you if you need me. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Great to see you. Okay. Well, it's not my first rodeo. Hey, I like that. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. So that's very important to have the patient play back to you what they understand of the office visit. So this is just an overview to what I call the six simple steps to assessing any patient. I hope it's helpful for you.